Hello F1, how's it going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to improve the FPS that you're getting in Coral Island. So if the game feels a bit laggy, a bit glitchy, and it doesn't feel very smooth, then this is the video you're going to want to watch and do all the methods that I show you, as it will help improve the FPS. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is download a program that I created called Easy Gamer Utility. Once you've downloaded it by clicking on the link in the description below, you will end up with a window that looks like this. Now the first thing that you need to do is click on the clean tab and we're going to select the graphics tab. You now need to click on clean next to your graphics card. So I've got an AMD graphics card so I'm going to click on clean and go OK. Now once you've done that, go ahead and do the same for DirectX shader cache and click on OK to remove those files. Now that's basically it with Easy Gamer. We're done with this, but the next thing that you're going to want to do is update your graphics card. If you don't know what graphics card you have, then you can click on graphics and you will see your graphics card there. And you can then click on driver download to then grab the latest driver. So like I said, the next step is to download the latest driver for your graphics card. So if you've got an AMD, go to AMD's website, Nvidia, go to Nvidia's, Intel, go to Intel. I will pop some links in the description below that will help you update your graphics card driver if you're not too sure on how you can do it. But it's pretty straightforward. Just head on over to the website for your graphics card, find your graphics card. So for example, I've got a 6000 series and then I'd select the 6700 and then I've got a 6750 XT, which it did show me that in the Easy Game Utility. I'd then click on Submit and then just run the setup file. So once you've updated your graphics card, the next important thing to do is also update Windows. I know this sounds very simple and easy, but basically the reason that I'm telling you to update Windows is because DirectX 12 is updated through Windows updates. So to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon, go to settings, click on update and security, and then just click on the check for updates button. It really is as simple as that. Now once you've updated your graphics card driver, updated Windows, cleared all those old shader cache files, go ahead and launch Coral Island. I'm going to go ahead and launch my game now and we're going to go through some game settings. Actually before we do that, there's also one thing that I want you to make sure you've done and that's change your power plan. So just simply open up the start menu and type in power and then plan or just click on edit or choose power plan whatever option comes up in fact just type out choose a power plan you now need to click on high performance you might notice there that i've got ultimate performance you can enable that in fact you can actually do it in easy gamer if you've got the pro version i will pop a link in the description below if you're interested in getting the ultimate performance power plan so once you selected high performance, now we're going to go ahead and launch the game. It's also important that you don't run any other programs while you're playing the game as these could also impact the performance. For example, if you've got a web browser like Firefox, Microsoft Edge or something like that running in the background while you're playing Coral Island, then it's going to be taking some of those resources, your hardware resources, and it's going to slow down the game, giving you less FPS. So make sure you have closed everything down. And that also includes don't have other user accounts signed into Windows while you're playing. So if you right click on the start menu icon and go to task manager, and then go to users, you can see that I've got another user profile currently running that obviously I'm not signed into, and it's using two and a half gig of memory there. So I definitely, and you can see now it's using 6% CPU. So I don't want that user signed in when I'm about to play Coral Island, as it will be using those resources. So I can click on sign out, or just sign into the user profile and then sign it out manually whatever you want to do obviously just make sure um, it's not someone else using your computer as they might not save their work and they'll lose their work when you sign them out anyway let's go ahead and launch up coral island alrighty so as you can see i now have coral island open up on my screen we now need to select settings you now need to go across to display now within the display tab, we're going to see all the available graphic settings that we can change for Coral Island. 
Now the first one that you're going to want to change is the display mode. So I actually like to have this on borderless. You can go with full screen, but I find borderless always runs much smoother with games. So if yours is already on full screen or windowed, change it to borderless. The next thing that you want to do is change the resolution. Now the higher the resolution, the more impact it's going to have on your graphics card. So if you reduce this number ever so slightly, which you can't do on borderless, you've got to do it on full screen. But anyway, if you do reduce this number, say to 16,000 there, that would actually run better than my 1920. So go ahead first and try borderless if you are already using full screen. And if you're already using borderless but the game's not running great, just change it to full screen and just lower that resolution slightly. You don't need to go too low, you can always go to 1680. Just basically play around with a few of the lower resolution numbers which looks best on your screen as you might end up with like black bars or something either side of your monitor which you might not want as well. So maybe go ahead and try like for example I'll try 1600 by 900. The next thing is the render scale. Now the lower the number you change the render scale the game's going to look pretty terrible. So I would suggest that you only really bring this down to say 90. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend going much lower than that. That's actually quite awkward to get it on the number But anyway try 90 jump into game and see how it looks But by reducing the render scale you're going to increase the FPS Now the next option is FPS limit now. This is a tricky um, My words coming out wrong there. <laughs> this is a tricky one really because if you cap the FPS, for example, at 30 or 60, 30 is a bit low, but let's just say 60, the game's always always going to basically stay at 60 if your computer can handle it, and you're going to have a really smooth experience. That's also the same for 120. Now, if you were to change it to no limit, you might go up to say 100 FPS, but then it might all of a sudden dramatically go down to 90, then up to 150, 170, and it could be a bit all over the place. So you might end up with choppy graphics and that glitchiness. So I would recommend that you try 120, and if you can't get anywhere near 120 FPS, then lower it down to 60. If your computer's amazing, then just change it to no limit because then you know your computer is amazing and you should be able to handle a stable high fps then the next thing is vsync so i like to turn this off if you want to have it on then turn it on basically this just kind of locks the fps on your like mo monitors um, refresh rate so for example if your refresh rate is set at 140 Hertz then you're going to only be able to achieve 140 it basically stops the lines and glitchiness on your monitor but I'd like to have this off now if we scroll down a bit more we've got quality preset now anti analyzing so this will have quite the impact on your graphics card so go ahead and turn this off Upscaling. Now you can go ahead and turn this on if you want, but it might not make your graphics look too great, but it will improve the FPS. So go ahead and turn this on for now and then see how the game looks in a minute. Again, anti analyzing quality. We just want to change this to a lower setting, so maybe go with medium or low, depending on how good your graphics card is. Textures again, go with medium. Shadows, you want to just change that to low. Post-processing, just change that to medium. Visual effects, now this depends basically on your computer. Again, go with about medium. So foliage, we want to just change that down towards the medium slash low section. So few distance, this is all about how far you'll be able to view within the game. So this can have quite the impact on your system. So you don't really need to see too far. So go ahead and change this to either low or medium. Again, these settings, they all depend on your system. But you're really looking around the medium to low mark. Unless you've got a really good computer. But then you might, well, you probably wouldn't be watching this video if that's the case. As it would be able to handle the game pretty decent. 
again plants just wipe that down to low and then this option here we want to go with medium and then motion blur i absolutely hate motion blur so i'm going to stick that to low in fact i'd actually love to turn it off but that's not an option in this game at the moment so now go ahead and click on apply or press e on your keyboard and there we go that's the settings that i would recommend that you give it a try again like i said you can lower some of them even more the ones that are on medium so like post processing and visual effects you don't really need to see all that if you want to keep the graphics looking pretty tidy and decent then you want to keep textures and um, your plants and foliage and all that you want to go with more media so that does pretty much bring me to the end of this video i hope you did like this video other things that you can do if none of the methods in this video helped is to maybe look at improving the hardware that's in your computer so if you are not got an ssd drive then look at getting one graphics cards you might need to upgrade your graphics card or you may need to upgrade your memory so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did click the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish videos.